put the who's in on the whatsy. Attach the whatsy to the who'sy. Connect the thingamajig to the thingamabob. And that'll make the whatchamacallit. Hello. Welcome back to Making Records with Eric Valentine. I am that person. Uh, so today, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we get to do another production deconstruction um, on a project that I just adore. Um, it was so fun to be involved with, um, and it came right at the right time for me. Um, uh, we talk about it a little bit in the, uh, the episode, but um, I was going through crazy, crazy stuff in my personal life, and um, man, there's nothing more therapeutic than immersing yourself in some extremely heavy rock music to, uh, you know, process some angst that you're going through. And uh, so it was, it was perfectly timed for me. And, uh, you know, we had a great time working on it. The, the, the two fine gentlemen that make up um, Death From Above 1979, um, Sebastian Granger and Jesse Keeler, are just incredible. Uh, they're the level of creativity that they bring um, to a, to an album project was was really really incredible to be a part of. Um, just just amazing, super fun, fearless creativity uh, on this record, and um, so we had a great time. Uh, you know, it was very difficult figuring out a song to uh, which song to go after on this. I talk about that a little bit as well. You know, uh, I deliberated a lot, but we ended up. Um, I chose the song Nomad, and uh, let me play a little bit of that for you. Check this out. So yeah, that's some heavy, heavy ass music, and it's oh man, it's so fun to listen to. Um, it's just uh, one of my favorite things um, that I get to dive into. You know, as, you, as you've seen in the past, you know, I've, I've done some really, you know, lighter poppy stuff, but I've done some really heavy aggressive stuff, uh, like the Dwarves or Queens or um, Lost Prophets, stuff like that. And um, man, I, I love working on heavy records, uh, Slash, you know, it's just, uh, it's so fun and satisfying. And uh, man, does this band deliver, <laughs> deliver the heavy. Uh, the, those riffs are just incredible. They're, you're, um, they're just a, an onslaught. And, uh, and so it was really, it was really fun to um, try and, you know, um, capture all of the power, you know, that, 
can be delivered with with music like this and have it come out and and just feel as powerful as it does when they play live or you know even when the speakers aren't turned up it should sound like it's just exploding at you you know and so that was a, a big part of the process is trying to make sure that that would happen um, so amazing project um, one of the things that's happening now uh, because uh, the bands that I've worked with are aware that I'm doing this YouTube channel and so they've checked some of it out and uh, they're getting excited about participating which is incredible I, I can't believe how generous and excited you know um, folks are being about participating in this and sharing so much of what's happening behind the scenes you know some people are really not into doing that and want to are more protective of, of how they do things but um, people are being amazingly generous um, the, the bands and artists are you know sharing so much of, of how they do this stuff and now are showing up with like a giant pile of pictures and videos so Sebastian brought uh, a bunch of pictures that he had of different setups in the room and what was going on and videos video footage of us actually working on the song that's being deconstructed um, I actually <laughs> don't even re remember it being recorded I was in such a daze <laughs> at the time you can kind of see that in the video footage I was pretty out of it but uh, um, but yeah so you get actually get to see moments of these parts being performed and captured uh, on the song which is really really cool uh, so without further ado uh, this is the song Nomad by Death From Above, 1979, with special guest Sebastian Granger. <laughs> 